Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, M.2 solid state drive, memory modules, RJ45 bracket, USB C bracket, wireless LAN module, wireless WAN module if installed, fan, and heatsink. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of all cables connected to the system board for later replacement. Disconnect the following cables from the system board. Hard disk drive cable. Fingerprint reader cable if installed. Backlight cable. Touchpad cable. SD card reader cable and tape. Keyboard cable. Display panel cable. Speaker cable. DC in power connector cable. Remove the power button ribbon cable from its ZIF connector on the USB board. Remove the one P1 Phillips head screw that secures the system board to the top cover. Remove the two P00 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Lift the system board off of its alignment pins and remove. Replacement. Note, if you are installing a new system board, remove the power button ribbon cable from the old system board and connect it to the underside of the new system board. Holding the system board at an angle, tow it into the cutouts on the top cover, and then lay it down onto its alignment pins. Caution. To avoid damage, ensure that all cables are free from being pinched between the system board and top cover. Replace the two P00 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Replace the one P1 Phillips head screw that secures the system board to the top cover. Connect the power button ribbon cable to its ZIF connector on the USB board. Connect the following cables to the system board. DC in power connector cable. Speaker cable. Display panel cable. Keyboard cable. SD card reader cable and tape. Touchpad cable. Backlight cable. Fingerprint reader cable if installed. Hard disk drive cable. Thanks for watching. Please click subscribe for more videos and weekly updates.